Hello everyone, welcome back to RLL Bricks, um, I'm Ryan and this is Lego Harry Potter 75958 BX Batten's Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts set. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get right into it. Sorry if I butchered that name right there for the actual set, the school name. I don't, not the best Harry Potter pronouncer, but yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, let's first, uh, get into the box. So, the box is actually really cool. Um, it is a really nice box. Really nice, it's got the detail, or the product images on the back. As you can see, it kind of, the carriage does open up, um, and it comes with two winged horses, which is amazing. <laughs> Funny thing is, uh, if you notice right here, Hagrid's feeding, um, uh, or, um, giving the one of the winged horses a drink. <laughs> and he's giving one of the winged horses a drink, and that's kind of weird. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty nice box. Nothing really on the side. Uh, top, we do have some minifigure shots, which is pretty nice. Side, nothing really there, but yeah. Um, just knocked over all the minifigures, but yeah. Alright, let's get into the set. Okay, so bringing it over to a smaller shot, we have the actual carriage. Yeah, this is a um, pretty nice uh, build for a carriage, uh, even though it kind of looks um, a little bit, it looks really royal and like it's like a princess kind of like carriage. That's okay. It looks like how it is in the movie. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got this nice blue here. I really do like blue. Blue is my favorite color, so getting blue pieces into blue pieces is amazing. Um, but yeah, let's actually let's get uh, started to look at the actual details of this. So we have these gold wheels here, which is a really nice piece. I don't I don't think I've ever gotten this piece in gold, only in brown. So that's really nice. We have these lanterns in gold, which is, I believe, the first appearance of this. And this is really nice, because I have all the other colors as well. And the gold ones honestly look really nice. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the details. There's stickers right here, 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 here. Same on the other side. And that's pretty much it. There's not really any other stickers. Um, and then we also have these two winged horses at the front. And their wings can flap back and forth, yeah, or up or up and down, pretty cool with that, and then we also have some head rotation, just like a normal horse, and back here, also some leg rotation, it's kind of blocked though, because of this, they can come off, as you can see, um, but uh, they also give you a little extra piece so that you can put them on like this, and have this um, filled in, uh, it doesn't really matter though, you can kind of have it like this if you want to, but yeah, they do. They can come off, and but I like to keep them on there because that's the um that's the only time you kind of see these horses is when they're attached to the carriage. So why take them off? Um, but yeah, we also have this thing down here to keep it the carriage from like hitting the ground, I guess, or something, or bending so it doesn't break or stress any pieces, which is really nice. Um, we have two doors on each side. Um, but this door over here, you can't walk through it. There's like a wall here. Here, I mean, that's okay. It's part of the function. Wish you could uh, get this out of the way, but you can't. Or they didn't put a door here. That would have been better. I, I know it's less accurate to the movie, but I think that would be better. We also have this chest in the back here with ha uh, one of Hagrid's accessories. I just put that in there, and then a ton of teacups. So yeah, pretty cool. And you can just plug that right back here on this stud right here. And the wheels are kind of squeaky today. Um, and a uh, one note I would like to say is the build for these like arches. They um they're kind of like movable, and it's really cool how they built that. They kind of just made it angled, which is really nice. Inside. We'll get to the inside in a sec, but yeah, th it's just a little, um, you can see kind of the inside right here, um, you can kind of see a little table, which I'll take a look before we look at the inside, it's just like a little table, it's built like this, really simple, 
um, and it's got a teacup and a teapot. So that's pretty cool. But now, yeah, let's look at the inside. So to get to the inside, you're going to want to take this roof off, which um, honestly is a pretty simple build for a roof. Pretty cool. And then you, I think you got to turn it, no, uh, this way, yeah, right here. And you flip it up, and you have access to the inside. And it kind of flips up and becomes a school, which is cool. Uh, and school is cool. <laughs> But here we have drawers up here, pretty cool. And yeah, there's a letter inside one of them, as you can see. Pretty nice print, printed piece, really nice there. You can fit minifigures up here. You can either put them on the stud right there, or you can just lay them like that if you want to. Um, down here, you do have some space to sit a minifigure on each side and you can have a space to stand them right here. And I actually think this is one of the best Harry Potter features I've seen in a while. This is really cool. I really do like this. Um, it's a little crowded, I have to say. Um, you can fit all the minifigures in there when you have it all closed up. It's really, um, it's really easy. And you can also fit this inside as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the carriage all summed up. Um, and, uh, I guess you could also say that there's windows that can open here, uh, but yeah, there, you need to open them from the inside. Yeah, so, anyway, let's move on to the minifigures. Okay, so first up we have Fleur. Um, we got a version of Fleur in the, um, dragon set, which is really cool, but here we have her in a kind of uniform, and... My gosh, again, I love blue. This is a nice color blue. Really nice. Good printing. I love, 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 love this piece right here. These, this feet, like dual molded feet. That's amazing. Um, again, great printing. Um, same face from the dragon um, set. And this is a new hat piece, I'm pr uh, I believe. And it's really cool. He's got like this hair on the back. There's two of these in this set. Uh, one for her for her, and one for her little sister. Uh, and then we also have this wand piece right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's not anything else really to say about this. Oh, let me move this so you can kind of see the alternate face. Yeah, same face from the... Wait. Actually, looking at it now, different face. Um, yeah, there's a surprise look on there. Uh, the other one, there's a grin. So... Uh, different face. I did not realize that. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's move on to her little sister. So here we have Gabriella, I believe her name is. Um, yeah, pretty much exactly the same as her older sister. Um, we have the same torso. Um, I believe, yeah, the same exact torso. Uh, and then we also have the same hat piece I mentioned earlier. We also have these kind of uh, short legs and blue. I don't know if that's new or not, but it's cool. Um, I love blue, like I said. Uh, faces, we have a sleeping face, which many suspect that that means that there's going to be like an underwater um, mermaid kind of challenge set coming soon. Um, who knows? Uh, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is a really nice figure. Uh, I do like this Fleur figure better because of these legs. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. Let's move on to the next Next one. up, we have the Madame Maxine figure. Now, boy, this is a tall figure. This is really nice, though, because it has uh, this slope piece that's kind of... It's got this nice print right there on the back and on the front, which is really cool. We have this nice torso up here. Really nice. really do like that. Got some kind of buttons back here to make it a little bit shiny. And we also have this orange wand right there, and the Nia hair from Ninjago. We also have this face. Um, no, yeah, there's a sad, kind of like sad alternate face on the back. Pretty nice. And then this kind of happy face. So, yeah, this is a really nice figure. Um, it is really tall. Um, actually, that's on this slope piece, like I said. It's not any of the new kind of robe pieces that you they just came out with. But yeah, it's just um, a slope. Anyway, uh, let's move on to my favorite figure of the set, Hagrid. Man, oh man, what an amazing figure. I love this figure so much. It is a Hagrid figure. 
Um, we've gotten Hagrid before, and we got that last year in the Hogwarts Castle Great Hall set. I got that and reviewed it. Hagrid was one of my favorites in that set as well, but this one's really cool because it's got an exclusive torso print with a tie. And it's also in brown instead of light, like, orange kind of color. Uh, so his coat kind of pieces in brown, which is amazing. But we also have this kind of, like, furry texture, which is really cool. Um, other than that, though, the Hagrid figure is the same, but we also have this, uh, uh, these kind of, like, like a carriage kind of, it signals the carriage to come down. I don't know what they're actually called, but yeah. Underneath, it's the same exact face as last year. No alternate face. Kind of sad about that, but that's okay. This printing for the torso makes up for it, and all in all, this is an amazing figure. Um, let's take a look at his other accessory, though, because he has one more accessory. And it's this bottle. Hagrid comes with a little bottle piece. Nothing more to say about it. Trans clear, uh, kind of like a white colored bottle. Really nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's take a closer look at those horses once more. Okay, so here we have one of the winged horses. Yeah, um, I just want to take a closer look at it um, off of the carriage. As you can see, I did add that one piece that was supposed to be on the top there. But yeah, here we have it. Um, really nice. Uh, standard horse mold, but they also have these wings on there. Um, these wings are like the, uh, the latest set I remember them in, besides Buckbeak, because they do come in Buckbeak, like the Hagrid's Hut set. Um, there, there was the Fantastic Beast set, I could be wrong, the one that I got with the suitcase, yeah, um, but that's the latest I remember it in, uh, yeah, but it's really nice, they're in white, those wings are amazing, uh, articulation, you can have some articulation here, um, really nice, you can kind of make it, make them galloping or like in that epic pose right there, really nice, um, yeah, but that's the winged horses, now let's get into my final thoughts. So that's my thoughts on this set. Honestly, uh, if you want to collect the whole entire series of Harry Potter like I did, uh, like the retail sets, I say this one you, you're going to have to pick up. But other than that, it's honestly not as good as the other sets, I think. I do like the blue in it, but um, it's one of the ones that I was least looking forward to. Uh, I do like the minifigures, though. The minifigures are really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, this is Ryan signing off. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.